dear students the topic for today is we are going to continue with subtraction but today we are going to learn two digit subtraction with borrowing so in the previous video we have learned uh, to do subtraction without borrowing but this time we are going to start with this topic so are you ready let's revise what we learned in the previous video we studied that subtraction means to take away from a group of things and this is the symbol used for subtraction so this is the minus symbol which is used for subtraction then also we learn the subtraction keywords do you remember Okay, can you name some of the keywords? Let us see the picture. Yes, so these are the subtraction keywords such as take away, how many left, minus, then remains, decrease, count back, less than, subtract. So these are the subtraction keywords that we learned in the previous video. Now let us learn the steps to subtract two digit number with borrowing. So earlier we learned the steps to subtract two digit numbers without borrowing. This time we are going to learn subtraction with borrowing. So kindly pay attention to these steps. So these are the steps to be followed while doing two digit subtraction with borrowing. Arrange the numbers in the boxes according to their place value starting from one's place. Second one is always write the bigger number on top. Once you have arranged the numbers, start subtracting the numbers from the one's place. Then the fourth step, which is a very important step here. If the above number is smaller, then borrow one tenth from the tenth. So once we are going to start with the examples, you will get a clear idea how to solve this. So these are the steps to be followed while doing two digit subtraction with borrow. First step is arrange the numbers in the boxes according to their place value starting from one's place. Second step is always write the bigger number on top third step once you have arranged the numbers start subtracting the numbers from the ones place fourth step is the above number is smaller then borrow one tenth from the tenth place so when we are going to solve the questions you will get a clear idea how to do this step step is after taking the borrow start counting from the smaller number to bigger number so are you ready let's begin with this example example number one subtract 73 minus 35 so what is the first step write the place value once tens. second step is write the bigger number on top starting from one's place so we have 73 as a bigger number here so we are going to write the numbers in the boxes so three and then 7. Now we are going to write 35, 5, 3. And then the subtract minus sign. Now let's come to the ones column. So as you can see, 3 and 5 are there in ones column. Now suppose you have 3 chocolates. Can I take 5 chocolates? No. Because 3 is a smaller number, so we cannot subtract 5 from 3. So we are going to borrow 1 tenth from this tenth place. So we have 7 here. And when we borrow 1 tenth, this will become. And 1 tenth will go to 1 column. This 3 will become 13. Okay, 
we have taken one tens from tens place and given it to the ones place. So this will become 13 instead of 3. So now we are going to subtract 13 and 5. So what was the last step? We are going to count from the smaller number to the bigger number. So let's count on singles. Starting from 5. We will get 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. So the answer will be 8. Now we are going to come to the tens column. So we have 6 and 3 here. So we are going to count from smaller number to the bigger number. That means 3, 2, 6. So are you ready? Let's count on our fingers. Starting from 3. So we will get 4, 5, 6. So the answer will be 3. So the final answer is 38. 73 minus 35 is 38. Let's go to the next example. So the first step is write the place value once, tens. Then arrange the numbers. We are going to write the bigger number on top, that is 82. Starting from one column, we, we will write 2 and 8. Then we will write 29. That is 9 and 2. Put the minus sign. Now come to one column. So here again, we have 2 and 9. 2 is smaller. Now suppose you have 2 chocolates. Can I take 9 chocolates from you? No, it's not possible. So what we are going to do? We will take 1 tens from this tens column and we will give that 1 tens to 1's column. So this 8 will become 7 after we have taken 1 tens and given it to the 1's column. This 2 will become 12. Now, I can easily subtract 12 and 9. So, let's count from 9 till 12. Smaller number till bigger number. So, are you ready? 10, 11 and 12. So, I will get 3. Now, let's count from here also. Starting from 2. Till 7, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So I will get 5. So the final answer is 82 minus 29 is 53. Let's subtraction of 3 digit number with borrowing. Hello students, good morning. Today we are going to discuss subtraction of 3 digit numbers with borrowing. Now look at the numbers 343 and 156. Place them in place value table. Here, 3 units is less than 6 units. So, we borrow tens so that digit in tens place is reduced by 1 and the digit in unit place increased by 10 and become 13. So, 13 minus 6 is equal to 7. Now observe that 3 tens are less than 5 tens. So we need to borrow again, but this time from the hundreds place. So the hundreds place is reduced by 1 to become 2 and the tens place is increased by 10 and becomes 13. Now 13 tens minus 5 tens is equal to 8 tens and 2 hundreds minus 1 hundreds is equal to 1. So the difference is equal to 187. I hope you understood this method.